So I just got a message from someone who watches the channel and they said they have a 750cc sport bike powered go-kart that they are willing to sell. Then he sent me a picture of it. This is possibly the most backyard shade tree, battery terminal, cloat hanger, weld job I've ever seen. Then we agree on the price of $1,500. Come on, Craig, we're buying something dangerous and stupid. Nice. And the best thing about it is, it's not even that far away. It's like 30 minutes away. Come on, let's go get Klaus. So this is the type of uh, go-kart that you're gonna wear, wear a helmet, maybe even a jacket, because I'm not trying to die today. That's what tomorrow's for. So let's go to Klaus. We have a stupid go-kart to buy. $15 bucks. Come on, Amanda. If you guys are wondering, Dan the cameraman is on vacation. Apparently, people need to take vacations every couple of decades. Dan decided to take his this week, which is our most important week. I don't know why, but... What's a vacation? I don't know what it is. People keep on using this word vacation. I don't know what it is. Do you think this is gonna be sketchier than the pictures look like? Or we're gonna look at it and be like, oh, we, we, only, we only saw the sketchy things. <laughs> the sketchy things kind of jumped out pretty quick. So I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a little more, it's gonna be a little more sketchy than what we thought, which I'm fine with. The dude claimed zero to 100 in less than five seconds. That's silly. <laughs> someone if we don't stop it. This is it, huh? Yeah. Wow. You might need these ignitions here. Stop buttons here, you kill switch there. I knew we should have brought a jump box. So your brake here, there was a line attached, but uh, I guess you don't need a brake because the line busted. Oh, there's no brake on it. So it has a brake built in. You just What's uh, holding this thing on? A, a hope and a prayer. Honestly, just let it stall itself out and stop it. <laughs> your feet, like, like the Flintstones? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> These tires always flat. They fill up when you get some RPMs on them. I think the answer is yes, the tires are always flat. I mean, he just got it like two days ago, right? Yeah. Tell me about the guy who, who, who you traded it. Was he on drugs? No, he is not on drugs. What did he do for a living? Was I can tell drug? you what he didn't do for was, a living. Was, was it drugs? <laughs> oh my. So how did you drive it without brakes on? Very carefully. By far the sketchiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I've done some dumb things. That is insane. On a scale of one to sketchy, this thing's coming in at about a 15.4, 15.6. Lights and mirror, you're halfway street legal, Sean. Yeah, you got your mirror. <laughs> Look at that exhaust. That whole, that's custom exhaust right there. Custom made. It looks to me like you bought $800 worth of electrical tape. $1,500. Looks to me like you bought $1,500 worth of electrical tape. There's not even a brake on it. Oh, the brake's there. You just need a line, he said. I'm honestly a little speechless at the moment. I, I love sketchy stuff. This is <laughs> this is an engine with four tires and a steering wheel. It doesn't even have brakes. Not sure what this is doing. Oh, that's the return spring. Throw a return spring. These here are just hanging out. Have a little play in the in the wheel there. The frame's on the ground. It's literally on the ground. May get some air in that tire. We'll have at least an eighth of an inch of ground clearance. The floor is made out of paper. Have you ever seen a square peg fit in a round hole? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. All right, tell me when you're good. Oh, there you go. What gear did he put it in? Like fifth gear? He just started in second, maybe. Oh, 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 keep it going, keep it going, bump it. All right, nice. It doesn't turn very well, does it? No, it doesn't look like it. Probably turns better than it stops. Look at that. It's what gear were you in? Second. Why was it going so slow? I stole it. There's no way this thing's making the power that engine's supposed to be making. With, with this type of weight, and this thing should feel like a rocket ship starting in third yeah. gear. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll try and take it easy, though. That's your shifter right there. All I can say is it's something. It is a thing. It, it is something. I like how it's got rebar on it. Yeah. Love that. That's pretty, pretty cool. 
I haven't fit. Ship shape, my friend. Have you felt off all the gears? My dad did. Uh, he has more trust in uh, you know ring neck devices than I do. I don't know if you want to take a look at the other parts that came with it. Is the other parts a uh, functioning go kart? I saw the pictures. It it uh, it it definitely is does not disappoint. Can you do any better in 15? Use 12. 1350? 13. This for you, I'll do 13. <laughs> it is something. All right. Tank straps, the only straps I use when I'm tying down my meth mobile. I think this is the last piece and I think that's yours. Wow. wow. It's all worth it. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Clearly this thing needs a lot of work. I'm not gonna drive a 100 horsepower go-kart <laughs> that was put together with zip ties and methamphetamines. But we might need some help. And we found a go-kart guy. He's in a go-kart racing expert, I think. We're gonna go to his place and see if he can help us out. Let's say there's a safety scale of 10 being like a Volvo or a Mercedes, one being like uh, jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. Our goal is a three. If we can hit three level, hey, that's pretty, that's not that bad. That's, that's on par with what we normally do. So let's, uh, we're gonna show up to his place and hopefully he's gonna help us out and we can find something to uh, run. I, I, I wanna run this thing, I really wanna run it. I wanna see what it can do, see if it's as fast as the original builder. So why, am I, why am I thinking that anything that the original builder says is anything close to real? Right. <laughs> he built it. It's literally electrical tape together. It really is. I don't even think it was a good electrical tape. Nah, it's a cheap stuff. Like this is the place. Hello, sir. Uh oh, he's got a soldering gun out. That means he's not having a good day. Sean, <laughs> how you doing, Craig? Can we show you what we got? Yeah, let's see what you got. It's a thing. It sure is. That's a rebar. I mean, every cart needs a little bit of rebar. Yeah. What do you think? Is there? A, can you help us? Well, what are you trying to do? You have the wrong Everything. master cylinder for that caliper. This caliper does not go with this disc or this <laughs> rotor. I don't even know what this once was. The start of the life was obviously a regular go-kart, but they haven't ran this style front end in at least 25 years. Oh, wow. Well. You wanna see what a modern day one looks like? Yeah. The modern day version of that looks like, where everything's on an L block. You have a bracket for this caliper, mm -hmm. but it's been cut off, because it should be right around underneath the driver's left leg mm -hmm. and then the lines can either run back to the caliper or some some carts have the caliper on the right side as yours has been relocated so what do you think is the uh best way for us to get our cart somewhat stopping put the right brakes and the right brake lines and the pedal and everything on it like it should be i wouldn't drive it the way it is what do you think what, what do you think the fail the fail point is chassis well the ground stops it it drags on the ground and that that pretty much holds it together. I mean, we're not gonna go out and kill ourselves with it. Well, we will. You're, try, you're trying like it. So you have, uh, you have the brakes up to help us out? I have to look and see what I have. Because I don't think that's the standard axle. Let's go look at our thing and see what uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure helps you out. On a scale of one to 10, how dangerous this thing is. A 15 on a one to 10 and 10 being the worst. Wow, it's that awesome. You got any right uh, advice for us? <laughs> don't run this. Well, we appreciate your help in letting us know that we're stupid. I didn't say that. <laughs> you're adventurous. How about that? All right, well, we don't want to hold you up too much longer. We know you're a busy guy. Well, I'm glad we got your blessing. You do not have my blessing. No way. I will say that on film. This is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. So I think I can read between the lines of what that guy was saying. And basically what he meant was, it takes a hero to ride this. That's what I heard. And someone's got to do it. Before we get the brakes all dialed in, dialed in. Let's see if we can do a burnout. You think I can get my hips in there? I don't know. Are your hips bigger than my hips, Craig? My hips don't lie. And the answer is no. You're literally sitting on the ground. This was here. It's just sitting in there. It's the tachometer. It just, sit, it just sits. Wow. Nailed it. Should I call Rachel? You want to say anything? Any last words? Okay, here we go.
broke it. I broke it, Craig. This is fun. Craig, I think this flat tire is flat. Ah, just one more go. I got this, Craig. You got this. Zero to 100 in less than five seconds, my friend. It's so fast. <laughs> We've done a lot of sketchy stuff. I saw the look of fear in Sean's eye right there like I've never seen before. I think I prefer brakes. That was an absolute first. That actually scared me. <laughs> think I can hit him with this? <laughs> Coming in. What is that? That's your air cleaner. I haven't seen that look of fear in your eyes before. I have no place to go. I know. And, <laughs> and when you're on the clutch, and it's still going. And you're trying to get on the brake. That's not it there. It doesn't work. How are you supposed to steer? It's just the dumbest, the, it's the dumbest setup I've ever seen in my life. The steering is awful. Like it does not go anywhere. It's almost as bad as jet ski bike. Easy. Jet ski bike has feelings. This is the fastest I've ever gone on this thing. Nailed it. All right, is this where second shift comes in? So I'm, I'm taking master cylinders off some other projects to see if I can get it to fit on the here. Precision, precision is what we're going for. So me and Craig have been working on this thing for the past couple hours. We fixed all the problems and you guys will not believe the transformation that we did on this thing. Check it out. Amazing, Craig. Uh, All right, so we didn't fix everything. Craig, tell them what we did fix. The brakes. That's pretty much it. We fixed the brakes. So we put put the brakes off the jet ski bike on here. This is genius. Yeah, right? That's that's your handbrake. Well, now it's your foot brake. Yeah, I like it's that. It's either way. And then we got a long brake line, zip tied to some key spots. We also took off that old hand shifter. We also found out something really cool. Check out this weight savings. See, there's supposed to be bearings in there, like little ball bearings, and there's three of them. See inside there? There's three left, so weight. Weight reduction, saving. you want to try to get rid of that rotating mass. Makes it spool up faster. Yeah, that's right. Great. Yeah. Wait, what is this? This is clown school stuff, Craig. Oh, that's how it belongs. I can't believe the transformation that it made from being horrible to incredible. Well, it took me most of the morning to make it incredible. Well, you came in late and took a lot of breaks. You are going to have the time of your life in here, my friend. Yeah. Did it get smaller? Well, I got it wet. Hopefully it didn't shrink. Seat brackets are dragging on the ground. Check. Brake placement looks amazing. All right, we're good. It's fired up. Here we go. I need to start again. Punch it in? Yep. There we go, all right. Ah! 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 Are you okay? My heel fell in. I hate this stupid thing. My heel fell down and just bashed the back of the cart. It hurt too. We need something safe, like a cardboard box or something we could put on here. You want me to weld a, a, a piece on there? Yeah, let's do that. Here, I'll bring it back around. Yeah, this thing scoots. 
at the lower RPMs, it's not running right. But once it hits like 6,000 RPMs, it goes. The thing is, it feels like I can do like up to 70 miles an hour in first gear. Uh, let's get a floor pan in there. And uh, this thing's this thing is legit. I mean, it's when I get on the gas, when it kicks in, I, I touch the bottom. But then you start hovering, it just lifts you right up, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, get, a, let's get a floor. Let's get a floor in there. That'll make this thing legit. <laughs> I thought we were trying to like elevate the build and not just weld more stuff on it. Or you just had with having some nicer, slightly better looking welds. Yeah, that's what we're resigned to. Floorboards. Every race vehicle needs a little bit of hot glue. That's right. I find it extremely hard to believe that we're the first people actually putting hot glue on this build. Yep, just like that. Golden. All right, Sean, she's ready for zero to 100. Told you, Craig, we're trying to elevate the build. Do you not see my floorboards? All right, let's do one more. Uh, I'd feel a lot better about this thing if it had a tank strap holding something together. Just wait, the day's not done yet. The brakes. <laughs> oh yeah. I think it's ready, Craig. Let's go do the thing. Fire me up. So me and Craig have done a lot of challenges and lately the stakes of these challenges are if Craig wins, we start another Craig YouTube channel. He has not won yet, nor will he ever win. But I'm gonna race this go-kart. Pick whatever bike you want to. Don't pick that, you can't pick that one. Or the GS. Whatever bike you want to though, you get to pick it. Any other bike. Any other bike we have. I'm taking the orange one. All right. Let's do it. I don't think he understands which orange one I'm talking about. You ready? Yep. On your mark, get set. Go. No! No! <laughs> Come on, you stupid cart! Craig, you built me a bad cart. I'm pretty sure that thing just runs on meth and food stamps. They might be falling off. I'm getting awful speed wobble. But now it's actually running good, I think. All right, Craig, rolling start. Let's do it again. You say go, I'll catch you. One, two, three. Go. Ah, uh, no. Ah, mine's running about as good as yours. Well, I don't think that was fair because uh, the bike that you built completely 100% was not running right. But a bet to bet and um, go subscribe to the Craig channel. We're trying to get 100,000 subscribers right now. The bearded mechanic links in the below. We'll see you guys next time. Put this stupid thing in there.